Awesome. We are pumped right now. Okay, so I want to bring in the voice of the Hartford Yard Goats, Jeff Dooley. Uh, it's been a long time since baseball has been played here on the field. What's it like to be back out? It's just so cool. You know, to celebrate tonight, Jen, with our fans, it's 621 days. So you have to go back to August of 2019. So it's been a long time. Hopefully I remember how to broadcast a baseball You're game. You're going to be fine. <laughs> I hope so. I haven't had practice in a while. So, um, but, but it's just so many people have worked so hard behind the scenes to, to get this ready for tonight. And we'll be at a 50% capacity mm -hmm. tonight, so it'll be a little bit more than 3,000. But after seven games, this place on the 19th will be 100% capacity. So a chance to return to normalcy and, and do what so many have done, and that's go to the Yard Goats baseball games during the summertime. You were just saying that when tickets opened up for this game, I think it's you said some 3,000 people here tonight, that it sold out quick. It did, yeah. It sold out immediately. Yeah, once they went on sale, you know, obviously 50% capacity, so it wasn't like they had to sell out the 6,000 plus. But sure. they did a really good job, and I just think people are they're ready to return to you know what they love to do and we're just so pleased that in a lot of people's plans we're on their schedule they want to go to yard goats baseball games so we're just so grateful we have the best fans in the world well i mean people would pack this place in other years you guys have done such a good job with fan outreach and our swag is about to fall over yeah, it's right. so windy out um that you know you would fill this ballpark before and so you know you always worry at first when you open up after a year are people going to come back are people going to come back but obviously with the sellout for tonight, and then tickets are going to go on sale tomorrow. People want to return. They want to watch baseball here in Hartford. Yeah, there's just been a huge interest. You know, people that I see around town, Jeff, I just can't wait to get tickets for the opening game. Oh, oh my We're in a God. tough spot. Boy, okay, the Goats so they, have some power this year. That We're yeah, a long way away. they almost took you out. What are we yeah. going to do if you can't, you I'm know? I'm telling you. Do the play-by-play -play tonight. <laughs> this is These are the risks of live television. Right. We have been joking all afternoon that we could maybe get hit by one of these balls. Guess and what? <laughs> Jeff almost got taken out, but guess what? He didn't. He's here with us right now. Okay, so talk about what you do here. You're the voice of the Yard Goats. You broadcast the game. Uh, you haven't done it in a year. I know you're going to do fine. You're saying, I don't know if I'm going to remember what I'm going to do. <laughs> but what's it like to be back and getting ready to prepare for something like it's that again? It's great. It's a little bit different. We're not allowed to have any contact with the players and the managers. And being the voice of the team, I'm in the clubhouse all the time. I'm doing, you know, getting lineups and things like that. And now it's all text and it's all Zoom. So that is a little bit different. But sure. I think once that light, the red light goes on and it's time to play baseball, you know, I, I'll, I'll be in my comfort zone again. You so will. I just can't wait. People honestly. are excited to hear your voice, the pipes, the sound of the Hartford Yard Goats, it will be good. All right, so also let's talk about this because a lot of people, you know, wondering what the park is going to be like. Margo's piece just talked a little bit about some of the safety protocols in place. Uh, it's important to note, though, that this is all going to be cashless and contactless, and that includes the tickets that people are buying. Yeah, the easiest thing for tickets, just do the website. I mean, you can do it on your iPhone. You can do it on your computer, yardgoatsbaseball.com. See where you sit. Pick your seat. They'll actually, the, e the ticket office will email you the ticket, so you can either print it at home you, or you can keep it on your phone. We're just trying to really cut down the hand-to-hand -hand contact. Hmm, and then the other thing, like you mentioned, is that we're going to go basically cash-free here. So now if you only have cash, you're going to be able to buy something. Yes, of course. But we'd love to get to 90 95% where everything is just kind of like normally. Like you go to a store sure. and everyone, you know, now at a restaurant just tries to use the swipe card. So that's what we're trying to do this year. We're trying to make it, you know, a little bit more safe. No, that makes sense. Uh, of course, everyone's super pumped for the food here at the Yard Goat Stadium every single year. You all just really bring it when it comes to food. Our Sean Pergano, we were just talking about this, came and did a Foodie Friday with the Yard Goat's food. So we're going to take a little look, a preview of what he got to try. Right now in Hartford, the Yard Goats are getting ready for their home opener next week with new food and a lot of fun. And a lot of bacon. Fox 61 Sean Pergano <laughs> is in heaven. He loves sports. He loves food. He loves comically oversized gloves, yeah, apparently, say, too. Yeah. How about that big mitt, Sean? <laughs> yeah. There, there, listen, there's a method to my madness here, okay? Yes, yeah, so we're talking food. The Yard Goats are opening up on Tuesday. We have this big glove. Yes, yeah, so know. gloves like yeah. this he actually found in my promo room. That's right. And a little baseball here. I'm getting ready to throw out the first pitch. Kyle and the boys are getting the, getting the field ready. So, so these are bacon-wrapped munchkins. So Dunkin' Donuts munchkins. Look how cute these little baseballs are. They're adorable. They're awesome. They're so good. They taste just as good as you as they look, honestly. Baseball traditionists, you know, games, hot dogs. The, I mean, look at the size. Come on, look at that hot dog. I mean, you can't go wrong with, with fried dough. It's just such a traditional baseball food. This one is topped with powdered sugar and cinnamon. So, 
you know, tasty, fun, and just perfect for a nice game at the ballpark. Yeah, and if you just want a pretzel and hang out and watch old Uncle Sean out on the field with his big glove, you have a pretzel. Comes with some cheese sauce, Yes, right? I was going to say, I'm a big fan of cheese, so dip that pretzel in that cheese. It is so good. There we go. Okay, pretzel looked good. Lots of bacon, so we're sold. I think it's going to be a good one, a good time to eat here for can't sure. can't go wrong with food at the ballpark. Right? I agree. Well, Jeff, we are looking forward to listening to you tonight. You're going to do great, and we're really excited that uh, baseball's back in Hartford. Yeah, thanks for being here. Appreciate you having me. Of course. Thank you. Thank All right, Ben, back to you. All right, Jeff and Jen, thank you both. Miss you both. you got a great night for it. Of course, you can expect more from Fox 61 as we get ready to celebrate opening day at the Hartford Yard Goats. If you plan on heading to the ballpark this year, which you should, check out fox61.com and our news app for all the important information before catching a game at Dunkin' Donuts Park.